Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa sallallahu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. JVB examination is part of the cardiovascular system examination. The JVB means jugular venous pressure. Okay. This is the way to examine the JVB. Turn the face of the patient to the left, or you ask him to look to the left side, and you put your left hand on the mandible, and move that mandible to relax the, the sternal head of sternomastoid. This is a sternal head of sternomastoid, this is sternomastoid, this is sternal head, and this is the clavicular head. And we look for the JVB from the in, outer part or inner part of the sternal head of the deltoid till the angle of the jaw, okay? We look and we just, we squeeze the skin down to let, to let me see the JVB. The JVB, it have two waves. We can see only two waves. It's very difficult to see the C. It is we see in A and V. It, it's very difficult to see the other, unless in certain circumstances. Therefore, the JVB, if being asked what type of JVB, JVB are two types, pulsatile no. and non-pulsatile. If it is pulsatile, it means there is something causing the JVB to be elevated. Normally, the JVB normally is four centimeter above what? The clavicle. This is a normal JVB. This is, this is the clavicle, and this is any, any JVB, any pulsation above the clavicle, four centimeters is what? Normal. normal. Why it is normal? Because when we Why? Because, because if we put this, this ruler on the angle of Lewis, just touch it. This is, this is a normal JVB because there is no elevation of this ruler above the angle of Lewis. Therefore, it is normal. Anything above the four centimeter above the clavicle is what? Abnormal. Therefore, this is abnormal. This is abnormal, it means elevated JVB. Must be horizontal, this, this ruler, okay? In this patient, the JVB, we see the JVB here. Okay? This is pulsation coming down, so up to, to, to this area. Therefore, the, how to measure the JVB is just like this. We put this ruler in this area, in the angle of Lewis, vertical, and we, we put the second ruler in this way to see, to, so, to see how many centimeter above the, the angle of Lewis. It is five centimeter above the angle of Lewis. The JVB elevated five centimeter normally is not elevated above four centimeter above the clavicle while this is, is five centimeter above that normal. Therefore, JVB is elevated. If you ask about the central venous pressure in this patient, you add in what? Five. It's five, it means the normal pressure in the right atrium. Therefore, five plus five central venous pressure in this patient is what? 10 centimeter water, okay? What are, the, uh, they ask you what are the causes of elevated JVB, the answer is cardiac, no cardiac. and non-cardiac. The non-cardiac, hyperdynamic circulation, all, thyrotoxicosis, exercise, fever, fever running, etc. Pregnancy, all these physiological, non-cardiac causes of elevated, right. fluid overload is non-cardiac causes of elevated JVB. The cardiac causes all in the right. No lesion in the left side of the heart causing elevated JVB unless it causes increased pulmonary hypertension. Mitral stenosis doesn't cause elevated JVB unless it causes what? Pulmonary hypertension. Even aortic valve disease. 
even left side heart failure. It doesn't elevate JVB unless it is become congestive heart failure, right and left. Okay, the causes of the elevated JVB is the right side failure, congestive failure, pulmonary stenosis, pulmonary hypertension, tricuspid valve disease, all these cardiac, and also constrictive, constrictive, restrictive cardiomyopathy and constrictive pericarditis, all elevated JVB. The wave in the JVB, we usually see A and CV. A, if it is very high A, it means a severe pulmonary hypertension or pulmonary stenosis. Sometimes the A is cannon wave in this way, coming irregularly from down up. This is usually in complete heart block. Okay? If there is no A wave and elevated JVB, this patient has got what? Atrial fibrillation. Because no elevated A. Sorry, no A, but elevated JVB sometimes you see. All these about the JVB. This is ABC of JVB. Okay? We are not going to, 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 to do the details because this is the limit of the exam. It's, it's elevated JVB, non-pulsatile, JVB, caused by what? Obstruction of what? Superior vena cava obstruction. They ask you probably what are the causes of severe vena cava obstruction? What are the causes of severe vena cava obstruction? Tumor, benign and malignant, trauma and thrombosis. All these causing elevated non pulsatile JVB. If the JVB is highly elevated below the mandible, it might reach in the brain. JVB elevated. Therefore, you shouldn't examine the patient unless he is what? Standing. Oh God. This JVB is below the mandible area. Down to this area. Suppose we measure it just like this immediately right away to the angle of Lewis. It, it, is, it is what? Nearly 20 centimeters water. Okay? You shouldn't, you shouldn't use two ruler. Only one, and this is directly, you measure the JVB to the angle of Lewis. This way, of two ruler, This is only for this is only for lying JVB. We use two to ruler. Mm -hmm. While in a sitting position, right away, you what measure it right away to the to the angle of Lewis. Can melt the side. Indeed. Mm -hmm. If we couldn't see the, the JVB, it means probably the JVB is behind the mandible, sorry, behind the clavicle or inside the chest. We press the liver, this is the liver area, and we see the elevation of JVB. If it is not seen, or, or, he, or the JVB is only four centimeters above the clavicle, if we press the liver for 14 or 15 minutes, sorry, for 15 seconds, second, the JVB is elevated. Sometimes the JVB is elevated, and we do this, this test to see the hepatojugular reflex. We press the liver for 14 seconds, and we see the JVB, normally JVB elevated, and come down before you lifting your hand away. Normally, any cause of the JVB, elevated JVB, hepatojugular reflex, normally this, 14 seconds, you see the JVB move from this point to this point and descend right away. The JVB due to right ventricular failure per se, elevation it will happen from this point to this point and doesn't go down unless you remove what? Your hand. For 14 seconds. One, two, three, four, till 14. 
This is called hepatojugular reflex, positive. A negative hepatojugular reflex, JVB elevated and retained back down to its normal <coughs> level while you are pressing. While abnormal, well, they call it positive hepatojugular reflex, JVB it elevated, and it doesn't go down into the normal uh, height unless you remove what? Your hand. هذا كله خلاص عجيب كل شيء عجيب